the wrong decision. This is really cold. <laughs> Good morning. I am in the Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument in southern Utah. So excited to be here. I've never hiked anywhere like this. Even just now at the trailhead, everything is so beautiful and amazing. And I'm here with my friend Devin Ashby from Backcountry Exposure. If you're not following his YouTube, you definitely should be. And that just adds to the excitement, because not only am I finally meeting someone that I made friends with online, but he is very familiar with this kind of terrain. So I'm excited to learn from him and, and just to see this beautiful area. I can't even believe how gorgeous this is. <laughs> Holy cow, look at that. Just otherworldly. We're a couple miles in and this, this place is incredible. This is amazing. I've never seen anything like this in person. Uh, just around every turn, there's some new incredible sight. It's, it's actually kind of difficult to decide what to film because you could, you could film all of it. It's, it's just so beautiful here. absolutely fascinated by all the little holes and nooks and crannies in the sandstone I can't get over it and like everywhere you look there's a different geological structure it's amazing stumbling across these little patches of cryptobiotic soil. I wish I knew more about it. It, it's, it is so cool. It's something I'm gonna learn about when I get home.
It's a, it's a pretty warm day today, it's mid to upper 50s, but we get into these canyons, these big tall walls, and the temperature drops 10 degrees, like just right away. It's pretty interesting. Look at this place. <laughs> Walking through the sand all day has presented an interesting challenge. It just uh, just saps your energy. Like with every step, you can just feel your body getting more and more tired. The sand is so deep, so thick, that it just eats up any momentum. We're pretty deep into the canyon. It's starting to get pretty narrow in places. Crawling under things is really cool. Uh, so far, no water to wade through, which is good news and kind of bad news, because it also means we haven't seen any water. Uh, so we're gonna have to figure something out about that. We'll probably end up down by the Escalante River to refill our water supply. We're in easily the narrowest part of the canyon we've seen so far. And this is just wicked cool. I'm, wow. <laughs> I don't have any other words. This is amazing. This place is just unbelievable. I can't get over how absolutely gorgeous everything is around every turn. Unlike any other hike I've ever done. I'm so grateful to be here today. Had our first water obstacle. Oh, shit. Uh, mine was My first. not graceful, <laughs> but I got it done. Devin made it through dry. I did not. <laughs> One of them was just a little too tricky for me and I decided getting wet on purpose was preferable to getting wet on accident. At least I'm carrying extra shoes. We had to uh, crawl through that little gap on our hands and knees pushing our packs ahead of us. Uh, this is unlike any hiking experience I've ever had. You're crushing it, dude. Thanks. <laughs> I 
made it out of the Slot Canyons. We are now in Horse Canyon. And much to our surprise, there is running water here. So we don't have to make an extra five mile round trip to filter some water. It's a pretty good day. I, uh, I can't say this is the hardest hike I've ever done, but it might be the most interesting. I have never seen landscapes like this in person. Pretty happy to be where I'm standing right now.